everybody. All right, so I want to do something a little bit different today that I haven't done yet before. I've never attempted this before, so this is the first time I'm ever trying this, and it's going to be on camera. So, and I'm going to post it regardless of how it turns out. I do want to state before I start, I'm sorry again about the laryngitis. I hope everybody can hear me okay. And this canvas had gotten a little bit of um, a rip in it, and what I did was I just used some Gorilla Glue on the back on the hole on the back of it and um, I can show you you'll see when I flip it over uh, just the spot where I put the glue but we'll kind of see how that works out too because I've never kind of uh, fixed a hole in that way before I know there's a proper way to do that and I'm sure I really didn't do it the proper way but anyway I'm gonna do a flip and drag technique today and what that means is I'm gonna put my dirty pour in my cup I'm gonna flip it and then I'm gonna lay white down around it and I'm gonna just kind of drag that cup through the white now you don't have to use white you can drag it through whatever color you want but i really like white as you guys have probably seen i really like white and i just kind of want to drag it through the white maybe see if we get some negative space as you can see here i have my colors lined up again basics liquitex colors um my favorite paint to use and i am going i'm actually starting with a translucent opaque translucent opaque i'm going to put it in this little cup and then over here i have my white now all of these have my homemade pouring medium in them I will put the link to that video which has been very popular thank you guys for that and let me know if you've been using my homemade pouring medium what you think um, if you've been trying it out and doing your own artwork please I would love to know what you think of my homemade pouring medium uh, because shortly here when I run out of my float trawl I'm gonna probably try a different recipe uh, so I'd like to know what you guys are thinking so anyway I have my um, my pouring medium in here and I've added my water so I have a nice consistency of that coffee creamer consistency that I like and I am going to put in my uh, treadmill silicone today I'm going to put just a drop or two in each of my colors now my white is not going to have any 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 silicone in it at all so the white has the pouring medium has the water has no silicone just kind of mix them a little bit there okay and this is how I'm going to do my cup Hope everyone is well out there. I am just really trying to kick this cold. I would be thrilled if it would just take a hike already. And I don't want to do too much paint because, you know, I do want to have this kind of be striking. I do want the eye to sort of go a certain direction. So I think that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to set these paints aside. And I did get a little bit of paint on my canvas. So I'm just gonna, of course I have no towel handy. It's just typical me. So I'm just gonna kind of wipe it up. I will turn this over to do my flip cup. And there you can see the glue on the back of the canvas where I did glue that spot. So. Okay. I'm gonna try to lay this really level. And now while that is kind of flowing out, and you've seen me kind of um, use this before where I lay a lot of the white down, but I've never done this technique before where we're gonna drag it through this. So hopefully this won't be an epic fail, but if it is, I will title the video epic fail but only positive vibes around here everything's a learning experience and this is going to be awesome i could definitely use a better tool than what i have going on right now but this tool that has sort of this you know it's not just straight the one i was just using was just like a straight line and that was not doing anything for me so I want to get this white right up to that cup. Just 
just taking it over and covering my edges with it. Might as well do that while we're here and we have the paint to do it. Don't be afraid to make a mess. You know, I, I'm always like so afraid. I lay this nice black paper down or my crushed paper. I think, oh no, I don't want to make a mess. It's like, who cares? <laughs> That's the point. It's kind of be carefree with this, you know? you guys <laughs> okay so I did kind of lift up on it a little bit just to let some more paint out like right there I'll be honest I've seen this done a couple times, but Kind of have it where I like it. I'm gonna it's still kind of moving and stuff. So, you know, since this is an experiment and I've never done this before, I think I am just gonna move this down and let it dry for a little bit. Um, and I will come and check on it and I'll show you guys how it's doing, but I am pretty happy with the colors. Sometimes I can't get that magenta to pop out as much. I will maybe next time, you know, I try not to put too much purple in here because I didn't want a ton of purple. I wanted it more to be pink. Um, and the purple, it's a brilliant purple, but it did kind of come up almost like a bluish gray purple, which is fine, it's nice. Sometimes with these two, you'll notice the paint kind of separates and it almost like, shows the canvas through and it's usually in kind of a perfect circle and I just go in and kind of dab it with my finger and usually you'll get that color from right around it to kind of hit your finger and hit that spot. I'll try to zoom in as I just did it there so you can see what I'm talking about. I didn't get a ton of cells on this side. I'm not really sure why. Um, it could be, I'm not sure, you know, I put silicone in every cup, so I'm kind of surprised. You know, we're getting like really nice cells here, but we're also getting a little bit of a different contrast than we are down this way. Um, but we'll see. I'm pretty excited about this. And uh, I hope you guys are too. That was really fun making it, and hopefully I can make some more like this. Let me know what you think. And I will show you what it looks like in a little bit when it's semi-dry and dry. In the meantime, guys, please like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. And until next time, keep on painting. Hi, guys. Okay, so I did just want to kind of come in and show you how it's looking so far. It's still wet. I did come in with a straw and kind of these spots here. Um, I used the straw and I blew a little bit just because... It was just really solid kind of like this the whole way and I wanted it to blend in with that negative space a little more so I did add just a few spots of that not a lot and I really like how it's coming along I think it's gonna be a beautiful piece and it is still wet we'll let it dry but again please like subscribe and comment everybody and thank you so much until next time keep on painting <laughs>